Welcome, this is Jesse Santiago. Here we discuss basic stick warm ups. And just turn the wrist. One, two, three, and you can do as many of these as you want. So, whatever you do on your right, switch to your left. You want to make sure you practice both your right and left side. You can also change the elevations of your abanico wittics. Down to the hip waist level, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Left side, one, two, three, four, five. Next one, be careful because you're going to go over your head. So from here, one, two, three, four, five. Switch, one, two, three, four, five. You can also grip it in the middle and just twirl. So here I can go forward to my side, up high. When doing these twirls, try not to overextend your wrist on each twist to avoid injury. Again, the helicopter twist can be done at different elevations. Here, to stretch, uh, stretch out your wrists, usually I turn it, grip it from the bottom, and then pull, all right? So this will loosen up your wrist and forearm, all right? Same thing on the left, turn it the other way, grab it from the bottom, make sure you keep a grip, and pull. Shoulders, from here, I usually grip it, right leg forward, I could do big circles going forward. One, two, three, four, five, and then backwards, one, two, three, four, five, same thing on the left, one, two, three, four, five, backwards, one, two, three, four, five. Now to stretch out the shoulders even more, I'll flip my stick behind me, grip it from the bottom, and I'll pull up, pull up, hold that for five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and then pull down, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll reverse the grip, so this is going to go behind me, same thing, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, pull up, one, two, three, four, five, pull down, one, two, three, four, and five. Here, you loosen up your shoulders, elbows, and wrists, practicing your forehand and backhand 45 degree strikes. Remember to do the same reps with your opposite hand. Same thing, forehand strike high, backhand strike high. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. The key with both the forehand and backhand strike is that you want to strike in a fluidic motion instead of a linear, stagnant movement. But notice that my knuckles are pointing forward with each strike. Here, I practice the horizontal strike. Notice I do a comb over motion to reset my position. I continue to strike at different elevations, at the head, body level, and legs. Again, repeat the same motion with your less dominant hand. With the backhand strikes, my stick goes behind my head. You can do the backhand in two different variations. One, where your stick goes downward at a 45 degree angle or in a horizontal line. The transition into repeating the backhand strikes is similar to a wing block motion. Notice again, you can change elevations when doing the backhand strikes. Uh, then the next thing I wanna cover is uh, basic stick twirls. So similar to jump rope, make sure you grip the stick, but don't choke up on it. Stick twirls is you're basically twirling your stick like in a jump rope motion, going in circles going forward. You could do this for as long as you want going forward. So from this angle, I'm going forward, goes down and over. So you're similar to jump rope, uh, um, very similar to jump rope. Going forward and then going backwards, all right? So you can go as slow or as fast as you want. Same thing on my left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I've seen st uh, certain styles, they'll open up while they do their stick twirl. So they'll open up their palm and twirl. Same thing when they go backwards. Um, the problem with that is uh, less control and you're most likely to drop your stick in combat or it's easy to get disarmed when you do the open palm. So for best practice, you just want to um, keep it closed at all times, going forward and backwards. Same thing on your left, going forward, going backwards. Questions or comments, make sure you drop them down in the comment box below. I'm Jesse Santiago with FMA Pulse. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you next week.